So, what's going on, you guys? This is New York Adventure 1994 here. And there's something I have to go over with you guys about my school calendar. Just so you know, about almost two weeks ago, I got a phone call from the school about what's gonna happen since we had no snow days to this year it's, this is what I heard we got Monday April 29th and Thursday May 23rd off from school because this winter the snow was nothing. We only had like the slightest snowstorms ever. But we only had like a two hour delay once back in March of 2019. It was like the first Monday in March. Yet I did get in until 9 o'clock in the morning. And it was like, so we had like the slightest snow ever this winter, but we still had very cold days once in a while. Because this is still New York and this is like one of the few winters that we don't really get anything. This was like one of the warmest winters besides 2011 and 2012 and 2012 and 2013. And even 2016 and 2017 because we once had days in February where it went up into the 60s. It was like during midwinter recess. But now that we don't have it, now that we didn't have any school closures due to snow or any any type of inclement weather, we got Monday, April 29th, and May 23rd added to our breaks. April 29th is like an extra day added to my spring break for 2019, and May 23rd. Is actually a day added to my Memorial Day vacation. I even get Friday off the 24th. So I'll be home for like five days. And my final countdown to the end of the school year begins on April 30th. Because we're not having any more fall breaks after spring break. And this, and this school year is almost over. We only have like two more months to go. Because it will be June in two months. And every school in New York ends in June. And begins in September. But I know for a fact that the South has one more month to go. They end school in May, but the downside that is that they have to start in August, like early August, when it's still beautiful out. So whenever I'm in Disney in, in July, it gets down to Florida children. Having one more month left of summer vacation. And they're like, they're in school while I'm finishing off my summer vacation. This school year has went by so quick. And... I told you guys that this was one of the most warmest winters in my history. In New York history. This has been one of the warmest winters. 
due to not having a school closures from Stell. I mean, every year it had to like be so cold in New York. Last year was horrible because it was so cold that we had a blizzard in the start of 2018 and I started getting really sick in the first week of 2018 which is why I was so lucky I didn't go to the Winter Classic at City Field where the Rangers were hosting the Buffalo Sabres it was like so cold there that people started getting really sick and it became so contagious it was so it would have been very I would have froze the whole time there cause during a winter classic the weather becomes so ridiculous but we had a warm winter this year this has been one of the warmest winters in New York history. And this is like the fourth time this decade. With the others being 2011, 2012, 2012, 2013, and 2016, 2017. This is one of New York's most warmest winters. And all I got was a two hour delay. So this winter has been nothing. And we're not getting any more snow because it's spring now. And baseball season is here. But last year since we had a really cold winter. It ended up snowing in April. Which postponed a Mets game. During my spring break. I remember having a video of the snow in April. Because it's like so rare for New York. To get snow in April. Obviously. It's not rare in Canada. Because it's still freezing up there. Because early spring it start, it's still very cold. To be playing outside for so long. Just for being not. So. That's why I want to talk about. That I had. That, I, that we added. Two extra days off. For my school year. Which is. A, a, an extra day in my spring break. And an extra day in my memorial day vacation. So I guess that's a. Bye.